Hello everyone, John Henderson Pierre, the Beer Ramble on this fine, fine, cloudy, gloomy day. And today we're looking at Lining Kugel Oktoberfest. Why are we doing Oktoberfest in the middle or late January? Well, the beer was cheap. It was 99 cents at the hookup store. That's why I'm doing it. Anyhow. Yes, the style I'm not really somewhat a fan of, but I said I'll try it anyway. So there it goes. 5.1% ABV. A Marzen style beer, German Marzen style Oktoberfest. Again, perfect for October. And other times, uh, you know, August through October. This is not something to have in January, but the way this weather has been here in the uh, Mobile area, it's just been, ugh, I don't know what to make of it. One week it was cold, two weeks ago, then it got bloody hot, and then it's been clammy and wet and just humidity and like, oh boy. But I live down here now, these last, will be 11 years come March, I've been here, so. Hmm. Anyhow, here is what the beer looks like. I have a nice little head up top. Right now, I kept this in my little storage cooler I have back here, where I used to store white wines. Well, had white wines, and there's still some wines in there, and some other non-alcoholic stuff, sparkling grape juice, and all that other crap. But. Uh, I'm a red wine person. Anyway, um, this would be a nice little head up top right here. Very nice. Very clear, nice golden color. So if you look like um, amber, very reddish color. Get all the sense of a uh, of the usual of an Oktoberfest, you get some of that coriander and you get some of the uh, or, um, nutmeg, some cinnamon. You smell like you're eating a pie, but some of those scents and flavors are in this beer right here. Maybe a little honey I could smell, but not much. So, a sip and drink. It's all right. I mean, again, like I said, if you've seen my my, my other videos, um, I'm not big on our, these Oktoberfests. I mean, I like the other beers that may be a little of that same look. I mean, it's not the same style, but, you know, like a little more a Vienna style lager. Um, more like the uh, George Killian's. Irish ale, you know, something in that vein. That those are one I would I take more enjoyment out of than anything else. So sorry. Right. Has those flavors as I mentioned, cinnamon, nutmeg. A little bit of All spices, all those flavors in there, but I'm saying more has more of a little bitter, bitter taste to this. I mean, not bitter in terms of bitter bite in the end, not not negative, bitter, bitter, even you know, bitter it has a bite going down. Um, so I mean, it's enjoyable. I mean, it's okay. I mean. Decent. Um, so, uh, what I say about Line and Kugel? I mean, the brewery is part of the Miller conglomerate, or I say B Miller 
Um, excuse me. Brian going back. Little Carb. Um, their more popular brand right now is the, the Summer Shanties. And I'm not a big fan of those Shanties at all. Never been a fan um, of those. I know my employer is, and I'm not, not, you know, he talks about it. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm just not down with that beer. Um, others like it. It's, to me, I just think it's just, just ugh. You know. But again, perfect for the summer months, you know, and um, enjoyable, decent, I don't know. Uh, it's, it's, it's just what you, if you want, want something for the summer, again, I mean, get me a, give me a regular lager or a light lager. I would prefer. Um, yeah. So line and cool with the summer shanties. They have the IPL, they have the canoe paddler. Um, those are quite popular and enjoyable. Um, uh, I had the canoe, but I, I'm, I'm, I, I've never really, you know, I've never really kind of bought a lot of their other things. I mean, I've had them previously, but I've never said that their their stuff is like, hey, I'm going to get more, get more of their things and get more of their stuff down the road again. Um, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I could get, get behind this. Um, but anyway, back to the brewery. Um, you know, Chippewa Falls, Wisconsin, where they're based out of, and again, part of the SAB Miller conglomerate. Um, they've put put they put out a lot of some good beers that you know, you know I, I'll watch some videos on on YouTube and even read some of the reviews on Beer Advocate and Rape Beer about some of their beers and you know many give them a positive review. This was um, looked upon pretty you know favorably. Um, Oktoberfest. Um, I mean they're they're a good beer company. Um, again under Miller's direction and guidance, I'm sure they're making sure that we're not going to put out any crap, you know, um, not put out, what's going on? and I, I, you know, I'm just, uh, really, not really much else to say about this beer, I mean, it, it's, it's an enjoyable Oktoberfest. And, uh, and, uh, you know, October Fest are just not, not, not my thing, but I had to review it because I said, Hey, it was 99 cents. I said, let me go ahead and just get it out of the way. But, um, yeah, beer actor gave it a good favorable opinion. So did uh, Ray beer. So I guess I'll do the same and it's durable, but again, not my thing, not big on, on that style. Let's just say, um, I'll say give it an eight. I'm being kind right now for that. So eight for the uh, Wine and Cool Oktoberfest. If you've had this around August through October and you're not drinking it in January, but again, you, you get a good deal for it at the special store that I know of, that I go to a lot, then, hey. Why not? But anyway, if you've had the line of cool watch over fest and deserves a, a eight score, eight and a half score, I gave it, which is a B plus, you know, um, you have it deserves a high score, low score, leave your thoughts and statements on the bottom. I am Sean Henderson, Pierre, the beer ramble team. Keep on watching. And as always, cheers, October fest in January. Why not?